Time there's a housing committee meeting, he's thinking, in the housing council yeah. meeting. Yeah, and we go down on a protest outside. Yeah. Right? <laughs> what are you telling her to get? You know what are you telling her? They're helping us come along, give her the wheelchair, give her no ramp, no nothing. It's hard to get, what was the wheelchair? Give them out to the people when the houses are getting be left empty. They said they didn't put up with that. There's none of them living in this area. We have to live with it, not them. And it's too for me. Stressful, Kyle. It is, Dad. It's what's happening up here. It's a disgrace. It should be half. It should be not straight away. Yeah. Flatten them. Yes, the Flatten them. Yeah. Right. It should be not, Kyle. So, yeah. It's a disgrace, but we have to put up with it.
Yeah, it's a leave all the houses. The board are up to be born, don't they? It's happening the whole time here. For the last few years, and another thing I want to tell you, since they started knocking all those houses down there, we very little water in sight. And I did complain four times, and I got no comment. They came up and looked and went away. There's no pressure in the water. Albert is the same. I can bring you in now, there's no water to flush upstairs at all in the toilet. We have to put a bucket of water every morning. That's, like, that's what they told me. They never fixed it for us since all the houses was not the water was flowing down there. We're in the old system, the old pipes are in the new system. It's stopped there. You see the water going up into the atmosphere? Yeah. It's stopped there. We have none. We're the old system, the lead pipes we have. They ran out of money, I suppose. That's what they said, so I don't know. It won't be happy until someone actually gets killed. They'd have them down, they'd have them down. See, that's what I said to them. Why are they boarding up houses without knocking them down? Why are you just leaving the house? Get, they're leaving it there for it to be burnt out. That's very fast, mate. See the house they have? Two bedroom house. No century or not. Do you know what they say to me? What do I want to be comes from when I'm living on my own? 46 years I'm living there and I reared eight children here. And I came from Beach Grove originally. So I'm living up here all my life, my as we say. So the only complaint I really have is when the not when the boarded up Mary Howards that my house can be damp. But if that woman had stayed there, I'd be sitting They're not giving you a new house. You won't, you won't be a homeowner anymore it's after no, this one. No, I'll be paying rent. Right. Yeah. I would have liked a house for a house because it'll be a hard pain to rent, but what can you do? Yeah. You're leaving a lovely home, that's all yeah. I can say. You know, the place looking really well. I would have tried to get the house for a house that I wouldn't be worrying about rent and things like that. They can look at this down in two years and so I'm not going to have to take them down. Why should any of us have to fight it? He doesn't, shouldn't have to fight it all as his dad's age is. Do you know why should that man have to fight for them to knock them things and get them all the way? Good houses, what God, that was knocked down, down for that at all. It's stupid. Yeah. It was stupid, Karen Antoine. There's a door open, down this. Wide open. See what I mean? That's giving. Great playground for the children. That's giving them an invitation to go up to the stairs, go bang, straight down. That's exactly what it is. And no open invitation to cause trouble. Half the house is back to what's getting. Just left and here. There's, there's, there's people crying out, crying out. Why didn't they give people the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive everyone up. Look, the idea is to make us move, Linda. I know. See, the downfall of the average generation was right. 
when the country crash normally left, so they have 20, oh, they, they look now to be normally here for 20 years, so we'll drive, we'll drive these people out slowly over 20 years. Don't care what are we going to do when the sewage starts yeah. backing up now? Yeah. 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 The, the sewage pipes are meant to be broken, yeah. they collapsed. Yeah. So you have a system up. now that's not working, at the moment. and eventually it's going to back up, Linda. Yeah. Your toilets are going to be blocked, you won't be able to see them. Yeah, and you know what they'll tell us? Your private owners get it sorted yourselves. Oh, yeah. And not yeah, my fault yeah. at all. Yeah, Even though they're the ones that caused it by knocking out the yeah. houses. They'll just say, well, that's your problem. You deal with your private people. I mean, look, if I spent millions of pounds and I couldn't tell people what I spent it on, I'd be arrested. It seems to me that the big institutions like the government themselves and the banks are getting away with murder. They can spend whatever they like, no one has to worry about it. Yeah. But if you, if you owe me tenner, they'll send you a letter out and if you don't pay it, they'll threaten yeah. you. Oh, yeah. 116 million. Gone. Uh, it's gone in the limited generation. 116 million! And is this what we have, all of us? I know. Not For 116 like, million, we've six boarded up, boarded up houses. Confidence and stability, lads. But that's, that's what you call it. How can you trust people, right? They brought in regeneration because city council couldn't do it, right? They said they were making the bags of it. Then to get rid of regeneration and bring back that's in city council, council and give it who, to who, 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 that's the reason they brought it in regeneration because the council couldn't do it. And now they give it back to them again, even though they had no faith in them the last time. How, do have to give How are we supposed to have faith in people like that when the government didn't have it? Do you know what I mean? That's why the regeneration were valuing for us. They said the council couldn't do it to give it the regeneration. They made it worse. <laughs> no, they give it back to the council. In a worse state than it ever was. And they're saying that the, stru the structures are fine, not going to change them. The structures for participation are fine. Yeah. It's a joke. Well, I, I think Con Murray I mean, has a huge chance to impress everyone in the room. If he steps in and changes the way it works. No, but you are you said to be leaving? I'm very sad to be leaving this. I am sad, well, sad to be leaving my home. But not sad to be leaving what's happening to me, okay? Yeah, not yeah, I agree. Not sad to be leaving what's happening to me, because I've yeah. had enough is enough, like... Yeah. I, I remember when regeneration came and said, when I got three families. But you know what, so I, as I said, it. it's, I'm not being bad about it now, and I hate bringing up gangs or anything, I'm not in it. But it wasn't half as bad when the gangs was around. There you go. No. It wasn't half as bad when the gangs was around. Do you know, they made so a, the, the, the worst gang we have here, our regeneration card. Yeah. They're the worst gang. Yeah, they're the gang. Legalised gang now. They're the gang. They came in. They came, they saw, and they conquered the right to place. They did, because when you think about it, I came in here and the gangs was here. I minded my own business. My own and they leave alone, they, they left me alone. Anyone. And I wasn't moving out for gangs or no one. No. But I am moving out over this. I'm living here 10 years and I, I wouldn't know what the gangs look like only for the them in the paper. That's the truth yeah, of it. There's, it. there's a very point, in fact. She's not moving out because of the gangs mm. was here. It's over this. The other gang. Yeah, yeah. Mm. because of the main gang. The gang legislated to work here for yes. us. And in fact, us. I think the gangs might have offered you slightly better deals in your house in cash. Well, they <laughs> at the time. Did, yeah. You know, did, in yeah. cash than what people are getting now. <laughs> they offered you deeds for deeds originally. Yeah, they offered me deeds. Well, it was up to me. They offered me deeds for deeds or uh, to rent the house. And I have, uh, I have taken rent the house. Why is that? Because I've put so much money in here. And then it's just like if I go into a house for a house, where am I going to get the money to do it up again? They, they wouldn't be done up for you, it wouldn't be as no, good as you're no, coming no, leaving. No, no. So you take you take the house house for house. That's the way it's put you. Yeah, I remember yeah. I remember when I bought this house here, when I was going to buy this house. And I had to go into the town hall and sit in front of them, inside the town hall. Because they were doing you know, like they do the search. Yeah. And I was asked actually why did I go for to buy a house here? And I said, because I was born and reared here. And I always said I would come back here. I mean, I left here and I went to Tum, I guess. I've been in England, I've been in Tunisia, I've been in Germany, I've been in loads of places. But my, I wanted to come back home, home yes. where I knew. Mm. And I was asked, why did I want to buy a house in Weston? I said, it's because I was born and reared. And as I said, sure to God, it can't get any worse than what it is. And in the first place, it was they made it that way. Yeah. They made it that way. I remember when I'd grown up. We had a ball any for the children. We used to we used to play there, you know that. Yeah. All played there. Where have they got now? Over from green things? Yeah. What's around here from? There's nothing around here. And they took it, they built houses and spent out hundreds of thousands of pounds and then they had to knock on what, 12, 13 years later? They and what are we houses. left with? Yeah. Yeah. So they actually done to this community what went wrong with this community. That's yeah. the way I look at it. Mm, exactly. I was born in Rare I know it. You know? Some people are so they're breaking into the house next door to you at night. Yeah, yeah, at night time. And the, 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 the one, if you can go out in the back, you can video it from upstairs even. And you'll see where the second next door again, they have the thing off it again. They're going in and out of it. Are they getting into that one there? They are, yeah. Yeah, they're still getting in there. They're getting in and out, yeah. And all, I just keep phoning and on phoning and please get me out of here because I can't even sleep at night. That's the way it's gone. I mean, when you think about it, I'm waiting for an operation. I've told them all this. Mm. 
They're telling me to get me out as soon as they can, but now I can't. I'm, the hospital is telling me to take rest and get ready for this big operation. And yet when I phone them and ask them to get me out here so that I can, I'm awake all night inside there, Angela. Yeah, I sit up all yeah, night inside there. So. I can't because I have these houses here alongside me. If they depends. put that in fire and if I fall asleep, do you know what I mean? Yeah, don't worry, yeah. Well, That's the the whole place, but I know, it went up. I know. Three boarded up houses mm. next to me. They're running in and out of it. They're setting them on fire. Now, many times I've seen them mm. pulling away from doing fires here next door. Oh, yeah. And I phoned up and I told them about it. And they said they would have the guards watching. They're but the guards are watching, but they're just passing by. The guards are just passing by. You they're know, really they're not putting them away from it or anything. No. And then this is what it is. And if you go out and tell them go away, then you draw them and tap yourself. And that's what happened to me. Just ask them to leave the guards the anymore. The guards never have been no. anymore. No. 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 They don't. This is a forgotten place now, only the people themselves has to, you know, to get yeah. to do things themselves, but it is forgotten. I think it really is forgotten. Yeah. If I had my way, I wouldn't leave here. But saying that at the moment, yeah, I would. I can't wait to get out now because of what's happening around here, you know. You try and do something and then it's, there you'll be knocked back again straight away. You had a rat infestation as well, didn't you? Is that still going I've on? Had, I've had a few rat, rat infestations. I actually cleaned out underneath the sink the other day. I thought it was all finished with because I put down so much rat poison mm. myself. But I see some droppings again in there. I've seen some droppings. They're coming into the walls, isn't it, in the attics? I think so, yeah, yeah. I think so. You know? <laughs> there's nothing out in the back. There's yeah. not a thing out in the back. And the dogs are out in the back anyway, so they're, they're not out in the back. Whereas before, they used to be playing out in the back like they were children. They'd be coming through the back. They but they would, yeah. yeah. They'd be coming through the storage. The because, back. you see, when they locked up the houses, but you know that, especially second next yeah. door. Mm. They just locked it up and left what rubbish was inside in the back, they left it there. They never cleared it out. You went to see Tess, Tess as I call it, you went to see her house. The back is just, there's everything and anything in there. And they left it there and just locked them up like that. So yeah, there must be rats there. That's only anybody would know that. Mm. You know what I mean? Less from so, so much live. Yeah, yeah. They're giving them houses. They're giving them houses, yeah. <laughs> they're giving them houses to get us out. That's what they're doing. If you ask me, you know. Get the rats no. in and get the, the people out. You get the people out. Well, I said, yeah, they got me out anyway. You miss it now, do you? Know, of course I miss it, yeah. Of course I miss it. And even Sharon was saying that. She said, Mum, she said, it's, it's a sin. Yeah, she was saying, like, better come in and stay at me the weekends and whatever. So they'll miss all that because it's a cosy little house. It's a cosy little house, but what mm. can you do? You know? You miss your garden. Yeah, I will miss my garden. I haven't got a garden now. These houses are empty now about three months now? Because three to four months, it's a. But you and know, they still haven't knocked them. They're all belong to the council as well. Yeah, and for the three months that they've been idle, I, I couldn't, on two hands, count the number of times the fire brigades have been here to quench fires. The amount of times that. Money's been wasted reboarding. I mean, it's taxpayers' money. Is there anybody out there asking why are they doing it? Like? You know, taxpayers are complaining every day about money that, that the country's broke, and yet we have people coming up to are fixing these on a weekly basis. And here is a great instance of where you'll have to do it again. This is what the kids here have to play with now. Have a look at this. Unbelievable. This is my old house. Yeah. Children, young children now have access, a daily access to this house. That place is so dark I don't know what's in there. That's a sitting room. Look at this. This is disgraceful. Jesus. Oh, the copper's been stripped out of here. Everything's done. But 
But the problem is, Kyle, there's children here that have access to this. They had access on the weekend, and they'll have access for the rest of the week. Matt. I mean, come on. Oh my god. This is not good enough, Kyle. Kyle there's not a see. copper wire left in here. It's not it. Look, you can see straight down into the stairs below you. That's going right down into the hallway. Every bit of copper piping. But imagine a four-year-old or a three-year-old coming up here now. Look, they've taken everything. Holy God above. Oh Jesus, they've done some number here, didn't they? My new bet that I paid a couple of thousand for Nelly for that suite. Printers that were left up in the loft. Look at this, Kyle. Like, this isn't a danger to any child. I took children out of here this morning who were only three and four years old. That would have fitted between that crack. And yet you have all representatives, like Willie O'D going on the paper showing us a house that's deadly for the last, what, three years? And he's, he's pointing it out like it just happened yesterday. We've been pointing this out to the, 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 the Paul to be for the last two years over it. And for the last five years of regeneration. This is deplorable and in a modern society that this is happening in a state, in a state where there are young children who are on summer holidays from school and find this place a, mass, a massive playground. The, the, the kids I took out here this morning would have fell through that floor if they had gotten up here but they didn't because somebody was good enough to phone me and tell me to come down and take them out which we did. But this is not good enough because it's two years on from when we started the group telling them to clean these areas and to talk to people and tell them what's happening and to bloody well knock them when they're vacated. If they're not going to be refurbished, if they're not going to be relayed, give them and take them down and consult with the people living in the area about the way they're left by these so-called demolition experts. Because as far as I can say, we do a better job ourselves. We have half the job done from now. Well, and there are any children without experience. With the CDP house at the back here. What's your look? The Community Development Programme. The CDP, in my humble opinion, as a resident of this area, haven't a clue what they're doing up here. And to be quite honest, in my opinion, they're doing nothing. A few mules on the wall, fair enough, that's it. But it ain't going to change this. That wasn't even them, that was school completions. Exactly! Look, they're right there, community development project. In what shape or form are they helping this community to develop? I think they're a test, the, test, the biggest testament to their work is the fact that they're living in the middle of an area that used to have 47 houses built 15 years ago, <laughs> all now demolished and gone. Yeah, that's a great testament, isn't it? Isn't it? I wouldn't like to be handing my CV in with anything written from them on it. Of course, I hadn't worked with the Southside Regeneration Board for since 2008, representing the community. In what way, Carl? I don't know. She didn't tell anyone about it, really. She won't tell anyone any about it. Sure, half the people up here don't know. People don't know half the representatives up here. They pass these houses every day going to that building and they never report it in when they see them opened up. Kyle, it says everything. It says everything. When you have these people living in here in this area for most of their working day and people are still coming to us to complain about them. They're asking us why they are not doing their job. And then they're asking us, well, why are we doing their job for free? It's because nobody else is going to do it. They're doing it and they're getting paid for it, but they're doing nothing. People are coming to my door and your door and everyone else. We can't walk the streets. We've been pulled by everyone asking them, us, can we help them? And we've been shafted as well. We're inside number five, Torreda Avenue. It's uh, one of four houses in a terrace that has been boarded up and uh, empty for the last two months. Number five actually was vacated uh, by our chairperson um, last year when a fire next door, which was boarded up, uh, spread to the roof of his house and caused him to move. Um, he got a swap house for house from the council. The, the last neighbour, Anne Martin, next door, she didn't want to move at all. But as you can see from around here, they've ripped the copper, they're in here at night, they're, they're uh, causing a problem. She was in fear that the house would be burnt when she was in her bed, because that's usually how, how it works. The people are vacated. The house is looted nearly within hours of the people moving out, uh, systematically looted for the copper. Then it's left wide open. The local children are getting in messing. 
uh, and then you have older lads coming in uh, and you have the house in all of a sudden late at night putting fire for their entertainment. So that's how they're organising the depopulation of the area. It's, it's intimidation by proxy. You detenant, and that's what happened here. There was a tenant living in the middle of the terrace. They were moved out. The house was boarded. Uh, it was open for three weeks and eventually it was set on fire. Um, and the, the, the number one and number five were damaged. They had to be moved out. And that left uh, Anne on her own. And they put pressure on her and they put the pressure on her to move. She didn't want to move but she, she had to. And that's how they're working it. They'll board up a house and wait then for the beleaguered homeowners to come and take their appalling offer of 30000 to become a tenant again. This or or they give them the market rate. Now what's the market rate of a house that's boarded if, 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 of, of a house that's next to a house that's boarded up? Zero. You know? So. They have a grand old land grab going for them here. And a lot of people don't realise that our, that our local councillors are the ones signing off on this at the end of the day. They're keeping that very quiet. Our councillors are actually voting to approve these buyouts. Is that one of them saying that's a bit unfair to, to treat a lot of people who are elderly? They've finished paying their mortgage and they're put back paying rent. We have some families here that have mortgages uh, left to pay of 80000 but they've been offered fifty for the house. Or they've been offered 30 compensation and become a tenant. So they'd end up paying rent and the rest of the mortgage. Or else if they took the buyout they'd end up just paying mortgage on nothing. A house is going to be demolished. So this, this is the, the nature of, of the land grab. And how it's how it's been worked. It's an appalling. Uh, it's hard to believe this is happening in Ireland. It's hard to believe uh, it's, it, we're, we're allegedly a democracy. Um, that none of our public representatives are actually speaking up for us. They're actually going along with it. This is actually state policy. If it's not state policy, then it has to be just the greatest incompetence that ever's ever been seen. Sixty miles away in Tralee, they're doing it a lot differently. They don't do this one by one, board up a house, board up a house attitude. They'll approach the areas, they'll ask the people what they want. Do they want refurbishment or demolition? They have a choice in what happens in their area. If people want demolition uh, and a new house, they are all moved out together. Their houses are demolished, demolished immediately. Um, they're put into rented accommodation. The rent is paid for them and they're moved back into the new house when it's built as a homeowner. The same as when they left. Uh, if they are up for refurbishment, then they get refurbishment. But it's done block by block. And it's done uh, in line with the, with the wishes of the people living there. Whereas here, they're just running us out. Yeah. Running us out of it. Oh, shit. And patting themselves in the back. I mean, the praise that Mr. Brendan Kenny got uh, for the great job he did from all the councillors. I mean, that was just nauseating. You know yeah. they didn't live here. Definitely, yeah. You know <laughs> they didn't live here. Exactly. You if they did, I don't think they, they wouldn't have appreciated no. it in half as much if they were living here. Oh, no, no. no they, they, they all live in affluent areas. Yeah. And none of them actually live in a designated regeneration area. We're well, just a sad reminder of what they have to put up when I mean, they go to work for the couple of hours every day and then just get away from us at the end of it and leave us to deal with this. Yeah. This is what they, This is actually what they're patting Brendan Kenny on the back for. Well, Brendan Kenny said he had no uh, nothing to be ashamed of. Not at all. Well, he, I can, I certainly, he certainly is a shameless individual. Yeah, all without a doubt. He has plenty to be ashamed of. Well, have Plenty a look around. Look at what he created for people. He's gone back now to his job as assistant Dublin city manager. God help him. He was doing plenty of land grabbing up there before he came yeah. here as well. Look at St. Yeah. Michael's estate, sure. That's why he was sent here. And they were, how they were left. He didn't need any training. He was already well versed on what he needed to do down here to get us all to run from our homes. And the few that are left have been shafted with the £30,000 offer. Well, the pressure's put on him to take it. I mean, it's very hard to live next to a house like this and listen to the carry on at night. And when the guards yeah. don't respond to the calls and you're waiting hours for them to turn up. Waste of time. You know? People are going to the stage now to tell me up here, Carl, they don't even ring the guards anymore. No, why would they? You know? The guards just, just aren't there. They're, they're non existent. We had an incident the other day where there was kids in this house and uh, it, it, the guards drove by. There was a fire started, the guards just drove by. It's a fact. Yeah, everybody saw them, sure. Mm. Just drove by. People were stunned. They thought the guards came to take people out. They just drove away. So. No, I, what I'm saying is, if the corporation wants to knock the houses, why board them up with for children to burn them? Why not knock them immediately instead of letting us live in the situation we're living in? Plus, 
I best the preparation to put my daughter and six children into one of the houses, even as a contract, you know, until whenever they're ready to knock them. And I was told it's a regeneration area, so it can be done. But I'm on home oxygen, I have a two bedroom house, but I have my daughter and her six children, boys and girls mixed in one bedroom, which is illegal in my eyes to have boys and girls in one room at their ages, like, you know. But other than that, I think we've just been forgotten about, and let's be honest, I do. I don't think that they would care now about us up here. We're just left there. Even on the radio, you hear about regeneration areas. They don't mention Western. Very seldom they mention Bellevue. So what have we to live the rest of our days watching the fire brigade men?